In a matter of seconds, a curious child left unattended can encounter many dangers. He needs the security of loving parents providing guidance as he begins to explore the world around him. Thus begins an essential process for growth and development that must continue to ensure the child's well-being. But imagine the confusion and vulnerability of a child left without care in a world he knows nothing about. If you bring a, a child into this world and you do not care for that child, you do not feed that child, you are in trouble with the law. It is mandatory you must care for those that you bring into the world. It's equally important to care for babes in Christ. The Bible teaches that all of heaven rejoices when one soul receives the gift of eternal life. This is the vital role of the church, to bring children to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yet even after a child has readily received the Lord, there is a further responsibility that Jesus has assigned to the church in the Great Commission. The Great Commission is to go out and make disciples. And how do you make disciples? You have to evangelize and you have to teach. They have to understand uh, the Word of God. They've got to be taught the Word of God. There's got to be growth. There's got to be development. If you were a child and you heard the greatest message you can ever hear, and, and uh, you just hear it once, you, you would say, but I, I'd like to understand more. Just as you teach a child in your home, you, you teach them over and over to say thank you and please. It's so important that we teach spiritual truths to children over and over again. Regardless of age, race, or culture, children all over the world share a common curiosity about God, which is so often expressed by their many questions. The Mailbox Club is a Bible correspondence ministry dedicated to evangelizing and discipling such children. Through the use of Bible correspondence lessons, children find answers they seek learning biblical truths in terms they can understand. Our lessons are filled with the Word of God, and we feel as a child studies these lessons, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, has a special environment to reveal the Lord Jesus. That's where it starts, to know the Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, it says, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Children, uh, receive a greater understanding of God's love for them and who God is and, and how, why he would want to interact with them uh, and what purpose he has for their lives. Teaching the truths of God's word to all the world's children is an overwhelming task. However, the Mailbox Club is able to meet this challenge at a very low cost. By utilizing the Postal Service, these cost-effective, carefully written lessons have unique advantages for reaching the masses. One wonderful thing about the lessons is that the child is learning truth in increments that they can take in. These lessons are interactive and ongoing. They're not a one-time pop shot. This is a long-term outreach. We've had children begin taking these lessons at an early age, take them all the way up to high school or college. Kids naturally love getting things, and things that come in the mail are just extremely exciting to them. We had a letter from a child one time, a 13-year-old child said, this is the first letter I've ever received. It was just to me. The, the Mailbox Club is a, a non-aggressive uh, means of evangelism. Uh, the child becomes somehow uh, the friend of the person who sends the lessons, and that person becomes the child's confidant. These little paper missionaries can go places where workers can never go. Even in countries where there is restriction against saying the name of Jesus. There are children that are able to read about God through the mailbox club. And I believe that that's a key for the future for those nations. As a child, George Eager went forward during an invitation given by a famous evangelist named Gypsy Smith. Sadly, no one counseled this young boy to show him the way of salvation. I was about seven years old at this time, and I just thought everybody ought to respond to that invitation, but as I remember, perhaps I was the only one that was there. They patted me on the head and shook my hand, but nobody sat down with me and showed me from God's Word how I could be saved and know it. It wasn't until 25 years later, after the tragic death of their son, that George and Laura Eager were saved. Soon thereafter, God led George to begin a school ministry, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with many responsive students. 
Spanning 35 years of ministry, this outreach touched the lives of over one million children and young people. Early on in this ministry, uh, my grandmother asked my father, what do you have for follow-up? And my dad didn't even know what follow-up was at, at that time. I said, what is follow-up? And she said, well, follow-up is something you send to the children. It's something they can read and something they can do, and you might not see them again, and you, or you might not see them for years. George found the hearts of children to be open and interested in learning more about God. He began sending them Bible lessons he acquired through another ministry. Before long, we just had a real wonderful ministry. We were getting 50 lessons a day, then it went on up to 100 lessons a day. Our friends would come out on Friday night and we'd sit around the table grading the lessons, and that was one of the happiest times of my life. Not too long afterwards, George and his team began producing their own Bible lessons, and soon the ministry of the Mailbox Club was underway. The Mailbox Club got so many lessons, uh, we didn't have the funds to, to send them out, and so we began to sell these lessons at a, at a minimal fee to other ministries. And that's, a, I think, a pivotal point in the Mailbox Club ministry was other ministries began to catch on to the need for follow-up. Today, the Mailbox Club ministry literally spans the world, giving children insight into God's eternal plan for their lives. Translations of Mailbox Club lessons have been done in over a hundred languages. The Mailbox Club has been tested and tried for many decades. It's been used effectively and practically in every culture of the world today. All across Europe, uh, Asia, Latin America, the United States, it's well tested and we know it works. In this day and age, children are often overlooked and forgotten. Yet it is known today that 85% of adults came to know Christ as their Savior between the ages of 4 and 14. This makes children the most fruitful harvest field in the world. For many ministries, in such an ever-expanding population, the challenge to reach all the world's children has become a monumental endeavor. We have a tremendous work to do. I mean, it's much, much bigger than any one ministry, and we need to recognize Every ministry is different one from another. And so each ministry is to work together as a body to perform the Great Commission. Christians are not called to be isolated. They're not called to be by themselves or to stand alone. We are called to the body. And consequently, he's gifted us and talented us in different ways. We're going to take those gifts and talents and resources, put them together, and to further the cause of Christ. Just as individuals come together in Christ, so also global ministries can do the same. The Mailbox Club ministry has helped numerous other ministries strengthen their outreach to children using its proven discipleship program. We gave out a tract uh, to a little girl in Croatia and she went back to her village and she showed the little tract to all her friends. And we got one tear off portion from the little girl and over 100 letters from all her friends and they all wanted the same thing, to get a part of the Bible and to learn more about Jesus. From that, then we invite the children to Bible camps. We have a presentation of diplomas, certificates, and this gives us the foundation for ongoing ministry. Well, CEF in Latin America, the Mailbox Club outreach is just uh, a natural to what we have going down there. And especially since we have so many doors into the school systems of Latin America, the Mailbox Club is a natural follow-up. You can go into the schools, and after you've taught the Bible lesson, you can enroll them in a correspondence course, and it's a, it's a terrific tool to follow up on ongoing ministry and to give more value added to that ministry. Wherever you go, the teacher says, this is what we need. We were literally in Brazil. We were tearing lessons apart so that teachers could have portions of them. It was, it was an amazing event. To see what God is doing worldwide through this ministry is so fantastic that I'm honored to be a part of it. For those who truly have a heart to serve the Lord, the opportunities are boundless. Here's how you can be a part of what God is doing through the Mailbox Club. Pray regularly for the Mailbox Club ministry. Sign up for regular prayer letters. Start a Mailbox Club ministry in your area. Support the Mailbox Club financially. Join your ministry in a partnership with the Mailbox Club.